Hey there, I'm Gavin. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of Tinkercad. You've probably clicked on this video because you've come across this site called Tinkercad, but you aren't too sure where to begin. Don't worry, because I'm going to show you everything that's needed to start your new 3D designing journey. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to the home page of Tinkercad. The URL is tinkercad.com and a link will be in the description down below. What you're going to have to do is if you're a first time user, you'll just have to sign up with a username and an email, but I've already got a user, so I'm just going to log in. So once you're logged in, you're probably going to have a page like this. I've already done some designs, so I already have these 3D designs. When you start creating, you can make as much 3D designs, circuits and code blocks as you want. So we're going to make a 3D design today and we're going to leave the circuits and code blocks to another video. So what you want to first do is click on new 3D design. So this is your work plane. This is where you're going to, it's basically like a base plate. This is where you're going to have all your blocks, all your tools and you're going to put things together. So if you want to rename, this is a quite silly name you get at the start. So you can just click on that and change it to whatever you want. I'll just do 3D design. So today we'll do a SpaceX drone ship, which is start simple. So I'll search it up. So I'm going to work off of this image right here. So this is pretty simple. So first, I'm probably going to do the floor, uh, am I? So just add a block. You can drag it across, whatever you want. I'm going to bring it down. So you probably have to zoom in. If you click on this, on these side blocks, if you do that, you can zoom in. You can focus in on your objects. So I'm going to expand this out. This work plane is a, a normal, uh, decent size for what I'm making today. But if you wanna, if you say you're making a city, which is gonna be really hard, but we're gonna, we'll try do it. So say you're making a city, on the bottom you're gonna see the settings. You wanna click on that. Then over here you can change the width and the length. I'm gonna keep it at 200 by 200. But whenever you need to expand your work plane, you just have to come over here. So back to my drone ship. So there we go. Now we have the sea. But obviously the C is in red. So what you're going to do is over here on the top right hand top right hand corner, you're going to click on this solid and you're going to change the color. I'll probably change it to a dark blue like this. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the drone ship right here. So we'll add another block. I'll move it like this. All right. So it is basically rectangular. So there we go. We'll probably have to add some small shipping containers, but we can add that afterwards. So let's see how large it is. All right. So what's happened is there's actually a small pad I, th I believe, yes. So what we're going to do is keep this like this. We'll change it to, um, let's see, dark gray, yes. So we'll add another block in. Right, so actually no, we can copy and paste it. So it's basically like your normal computer, control V, control C and all that. So we'll just do control C and control V. There we go. And there we go. So now we'll expand that. bring it up so actually so something that a lot of users including me have struggled to find out when they start Tinkercad is how to lift an object so if you can see over here there's this cone there's a small cone so basically all you have to do is drag it up and drag it down to wherever you need so I need to drag it up there we go now I can scale it oops All right. 
What am I selecting? There we go. So let's bring it down. There we go. Then there we go. And I can bring it this way. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're probably going to add the circle. So it's pretty simple. We'll just add a cylinder and then bring it down. There we go. So now, as you can see, this is white and there's gray in the middle. So what we can do is we can get Control C and Control V and then bring it in and just size it down a little bit. Move it a little bit so it's even. That's good enough. And then what we want to do is change to a hole and then copy the two together and click on this on the top right called group and there you go now your cylinder is hollow so now let's move this down Draw two down there so click on this and go one oh no that's the length sorry I clicked on the wrong one. There you go. So there's the white. It does mix in a little, but that's the best we can do today. Let's move it in so it oops. Right. So now what we're gonna do is the X. So we can add a another block here. And then let's move it in like this. Rotate. There we go. Now we can rotate this as well. So it's a little hard to select. What we're actually going to do is we're going to bring this down. So we can select this for now. And let's just move it like that. That's pretty good. And there we go. So now let's bring this up again. So there we go. Now what we can do is we can add on to what we have before, like the shipping containers on the sides. So what we will do, let's see. Let a block and place it just here. move it up, scale it down like that. There we go. Let's copy and paste that. and move it across. Now the movement's quite tricky in Tinkercad, but you'll just have to get the used to it. 
you will have to focus on certain objects, but you will get the hang of it eventually. Alright. That looks pretty good. So now I can add the shipping containers in. There we go, let's do the other side. Right, there we go. So now we have the shipping containers all done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to now start the actual Falcon 9. So as you can see we have the wings here, the body, we have the flaps. So what we can do is bring this in like this, another cylinder, and then we'll just bring it up a little bit, like around this much, so we, we have room for the legs. We'll change to whites. So as you can see, we have the no top, so we can leave it like this. So what else? So we have the black here, and yeah, basically the legs. So let's start that. Block, and then. Let's get to a decent size. Move it up. Well, that's pretty good. All right. So now let's place the legs down on the drone ship. So this is going to be the tricky part because we're focused in on the leg as well as the actual Falcon 9, but at the same time we don't know where the drone ship is going to go. So what I might do is I'll actually bring this down like this and then just move it in and there we go then just finally scale it then once again bring it in Right, that looks a little too narrow, so what we'll do is we'll just do this and then we can bring it down just a little. Alright, so that looks good so far. Let's change this to black. There we go. And then, right. So what I think we should do is actually bring this down a touch, bring it up a bit, and then we can move this down again, like that much, there we go. So now let's copy and paste that, and what we can do is we can click on the rotate, and we can actually go to this number and change the angle. So let's change it to 180 degrees, so it's matching the opposite way. Let's just place it in on this side. 
There we go. Now we can just copy and paste it again and then change the angle to 90 and then put that here bring it down there we go and then get that rotate 180 bring it this way And then move it down, touch. And there we go. So that's a little bit of progress. So what else do we need? All right, so we'll probably add these up top. Let's scale it up now. Around this is good. Change it to dark grey. Bring it up all the way. Then this cylinder isn't that even, so we can't get it to be perfectly even. You could do that. That'll be a little big, wouldn't it? And that's good enough. Just move it to the other side. Yeah, these are definitely not going to be as good as the other side. We'll probably just scale it down. Just touch these two. Oh, well, those didn't go as expected. <laughs> so. That's about it. Let's see what else we can add. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah, that is a SpaceX drone ship. Like, it isn't the best. I'm not the best 3D designer, I can tell you that. So it isn't the best design at all um, compared to a lot of other designs people around the world have done. But it's something basic to s set you up for the world of Tinkercad. So this is episode one. We're going to have a bunch of episodes now on numerous different 3D designs. We can get circuits, code blocks, everything. But this is a simple 3D design. We'll probably continue 3D designs for a bit, then move on to code blocks and circuits and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully that set you up for a bit of Tinkercad and 3D designing. So if that did help you out, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, leave a comment on what you'd like to see in the future for more episodes on the series, and I'll see you guys next time.